Good morning, everybody. This is the final Friday of the month, and today we are highlighting the city of Union City with Miss Kathy Dillon, our city manager. So, Kathy, do you want to just start off by telling us a little bit about yourself? Sure. I started my work in local government in Michigan in 1991 as a city clerk slash acting city manager, later becoming a city manager. I was offered a job in South Fulton in 2004, which I moved to Tennessee uh, at that point. And four years later, uh, came to Union City and worked under Don Thornton for a short time before coming, becoming city manager for Union City and have been here 13 years. So altogether, I've been in local government for 31 years. That is an incredible story, Kathy. Um, would you like to tell us some facts about Union City that people might not realize? Sure. Land uh, uh, that is now Union City was actually acquired by General George Gibbs in 1829. Later, he would develop the land and would name it Union City in 1852 because of the two railroads that unite here in Union City. One of those railroads is the Mobile, Alabama, Ohio Railroad, and the other is the Nashville and Hickman uh, Railroad. Union City was actually incorporated as a city in 1867. Um, in later years, uh, Union City would become the county seat to Obion County. Today, though, you wouldn't uh, be surprised that our little city has, uh, according to the 2020 census, uh, certified 10,271 residents and only covers 8.8 .8 square miles, which you might find a small amount for Union City, but you would be surprised at what services 8.8 .8 square miles can offer uh, our community. And I say community because we offer these services uh, for our parks and cemeteries, you know, for the, empire, the entire community. Anyhow, for the city staff, we provide maintenance and operation for 90 miles of roads. And when we clean streets once a month, that's 180 miles because we go up one side and then down the other side that we actually street, uh, sweep streets each street once a month. And uh, so we have 180 miles of street sweeping. We also have 90 miles of water and sewer, which makes sense for our entire city. But what a lot of people don't know is we do provide 450 miles of water main uh, for outside of our city limits. We provide water to Real Foot Water Association out near Real Foot Lake. We provide water to many of our Obion County residents and customers. We provide water to Woodland Mills and we provide water to Reeves. So that's uh, a lot of water maintenance and care and provision. With that, we have 7,195 meters that we uh, bill and take care of. We also, in our Parks and Recreation Department, we maintain about 325 acres of land. This includes four cemeteries, seven parks, a splash pad, a skateboard park, two tennis court complexes, one at Grand Park and one at the middle school, uh, two walking tracks, one at Veterans Park and one at Grams Park, a disc golf course at Grams Park, full four-size soccer fields at Graham Park, seven youth baseball and softball fields at Graham Park, uh, two full-size baseball fields, of course, at Graham Park, and one recreation, uh, recreational baseball field open to the public also at Graham Park. And that's a lot for 8.8 .8 square miles, and our employment um, staff is about 125 people. So that's a lot of work for 125 people, but we do our best to keep up with all the needs of our community. Well, you do, and thank you so much for sharing all those facts. I know a lot of people might not realize how much 
the city does offer and it's a great deal of things so thank you for that Kathy. Sure. Um, is there any updates that the community should know about here in the city? Yes, um, right now, currently, we are entering into the beginning stages of TDOT grant uh, for paving and sidewalks on 5th Street from Florida to Maine. Um, they've already started the surveying and we hope to see the construction of this project start this spring. We're finishing up the TDOT grant that was the repaving and stormwater and gutter on Jackson, which I think most of our residents will say is such a nice improvement because that's nice and smooth now. We're also in the beginning stages of a THDA uh, grant, which, a which is a housing grant. $500,000 will be, has already been approved to give to Union City for uh, required, needed, well, these people need to apply and there will be certain requirements for eligibility for rehab uh, for city residents. We're very excited about that and we're getting a lot of calls on applicants that are anxious to apply uh, when those dates become available. We're also, the council is working on a, a project with contractors opening up some of the land that we have available for building and hoping to make some um, some of that affordable, affordable housing um, and those that program is still in talking stages and working stages within the city council they're also working on city council is um, looking at upgrading or updating the zoning needs of our downtown area to attract businesses and retail environment for our downtown. Uh, we're also working on a new and improved website. This should go live in spring or summer. We're hoping that all of our forms and applications and our the newest and greatest information for Union City will be available on this website come spring or summer. We're very excited about that. That's great, Kathy. So lots happening, lots going on in the city. And um, is there anything else you would like to tell the community today? We are looking forward to uh, catching our breath for one thing, uh, but there will be another LPRF, which is a Parks and Recreation Grant, which is what we uh, partnered with the state on the splash pad and the skate park um, that project was a million dollars LPRF paid five hundred thousand dollars of that and the city paid the other five hundred thousand dollars the next LPRF grant will be available in one or two more years we're hoping to apply for that again and on the other side of Grand Park we want to uh, create a new pavilion, a better pavilion, which will have actually a two-sided pavilion with updated uh, restrooms there and a new, brand new playscape. Also, probably in the market of a million dollar project and hoping that we can be awarded a $500,000 from the LPRF grant and $500,000 contribution, local contribution from the city. And we're also, uh, looking to apply for another site development grant uh, coming up. We're at the very beginning stages, uh, haven't even applied for this yet, for an updated water pump station for our uh, newest industrial park over in the Northwest Tennessee Industrial Regional Park. Um, that one is, is still in the works and is um, I think about two hundred to three hundred thousand dollar grant if if we're successful, but that's about all we have coming up and what we're working on now. So that should bring us through the next uh, eight years of planning and construction. Well, thank you, Kathy, and um, you know the city of Union City, you all do a great job, and we are thank very you. blessed to have you here. So. Thank you so much for updating everyone in the community today. Well, we appreciate the partnership from the Chamber and everybody in the community. It takes a village to make this work, and we appreciate everybody as well. Thank you.
thank you, kathy.